Hi folks. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. So I'm going live, obviously, because you can see me. Um, and we're listening to my own uh, private library of music again today. Um, again, it's Ludo. He's 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 a rocking out. Hello, Michael. Hey. Ooh, thumbs up, skis. Okay. So so I'm just uh, gonna wait a second. Hello, Mr. Jeffrey. Nice to see you. We're uh, just waiting here a minute before I dive into what I'm doing. Um, I'm playing with my phone right now, uh, getting my music together on my personal library. Um, I don't know if it's... Uh... Thank you, Michael, for sharing my video. Hello, James. Hi, cousin. Welcome to my video. Hello, Adia. Hi, honey. How you doing? All right. Okay, so somebody tell me, is my music too loud in the video? Can anybody tell me? I don't know. We're just going to hope that it's not because I don't want it to be too loud. So today we're going to we're going to do some makeup while I get ready for uh, for for our Thanksgiving dinner tonight with my boyfriend's family. Uh, we're doing Thanksgiving a little early. I also am playing with lights like I've opened up all my curtains and it's Chicago. And so uh you know, the light keeps changing, but we're working on it. I think it's getting a little better. We're working on it. So, okay. We're just going to wait a couple more. Just like a minute. Oh, look it. Here's, I'm drinking out of a mason jar today. We're drinking coffee out of a mason jar. That's the southern gal in me. Hello. Hi, Cassidy. Hi, doll. How are you? Okay. So, in this setup, uh, this is a little different than what I normally have. Usually, I'm turned the other way. And like the comments roll along the side. So I don't know. Somebody send me a comment just so I can see how this works. This is a different setup for me. Michael, Jeffrey, Adia, Cassidy, anybody. Just say hi. Just so I can see how this works. This is weird. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm just going to just gonna dive in. We're just going to go. Um, so... Today I am going to do my face. So while I was playing with my lighting, I did already put on my foundation and my concealer because um, I was trying to figure out the best light. I'm still trying to. Um, so I wanted to kind of do some a little test run. Hello, banana phone. Oh, thank you, Michael. Okay, that's how this works. Perfect. Awesome. Now I can see. That's cool. Thank you. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do some, some makeup-o. So um, as I was saying, I already did my my moisturizer and my primer and my foundation and my concealer because I was playing with my lighting and I was trying to get a good light test so we were just checking it out. Um, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with my eyes first. Now I do have um, some uh, foundation and concealer on my eyes as well. Um, actually, I'm going to got a little left, left on my brush here so we're just going to put some more on there. Um, I struggle really bad with um, darkness all around my eyes. It's something that I have had literally like my entire life. So in uh, in the 90s, uh, I used to put white, white, okay, I, should, I shouldn't lie. I literally did this like months ago too. Um, I used to just put white eyeshadow underneath. Um, so that way it would not look like there was like these deep dark black circles. Um, and it just looks kind of weird when you take pictures and stuff. So, um, you know, I, I, I really try to get that concealed so you can't see it. I also uh, tried our Uplift Serum today because I had a little bag this morning when I woke up under my eye because uh, I slept really poorly last night. Um, but anyways, let's dive in. So, for our eyes today, I'm using my samples of the uh, Moodstruck Mineral, whoops, Mineral Pigment Powders. Okay, this is my little sample kit. And we're going to start... With the middle color, oh, it's really washed out. That's unfortunate. Here, let me put it on my finger. We're gonna use this color. Okay, look at how beautiful that is. That color is sexy. So we're gonna we're gonna do some sexy on our eyelids. So since I have it, I'm just gonna we'll just put that on there for now. Because why waste product if you don't have to? Alrighty. Okay, so I've never done makeup in an iPad before, so we'll see how this goes. Welcome, hello, eyeballs. 
All right, so we're just going to we're going to put that on the shadow there. And guys, we're it's going to be a work in progress. We're going to get this lighting stuff figured out eventually. I promise you. Um so if you could stick with me while I figure it out, that'd be great. Um I'm just going in there, putting it on there. It's a little hard for me to see in the iPad, but that's okay. We'll work it out. Work it out. So I just I was thinking about this earlier and I just wanted to kind of kind of tell everybody. Um, so when I joined Unique, I literally joined just from watching uh, Kelly Rose Sonaro. I had not tried the product beforehand. Um, and I literally didn't, didn't use this makeup until Thursday. That's when I think, I believe my, uh, Hi, Char. That's when my presenter's kit came in the mail. Um, and up until that point, I had never had it on my face. Hi, Megan. And if there's any true testimonial of, one, Kelly's power, um, two, uh, just watching the awesome progression. You guys, I keep playing with this mirror. Um, the progression of watching her just put her makeup on and uh, researching the company. Like, I believed in this company before I ever put it on my face. Um, and I can tell you right now that I'm only working with the tools that were in my in my kit. Okay, so I, I still don't have, uh, you know, a huge collection of unique products. And that's okay, because I'm going to build my collection up with with you guys. as we As you shop, I shop. So we'll, we're going to go on this little venture together because um, this makeup is incredible. And I feel like I'm like a lot of ladies out there who love nice makeup. Um, but, you know, it's sometimes it's expensive. So building up a collection can be kind of difficult. And I totally get that. Um, and I'm just like you guys. So I'm building my stuff up just like you guys. So you start with one product and you see how you like it. Um, but I dove in to this without wearing any of the product. Hi, Joel. Thanks for tuning in, man. Hey, I'm going to give a shout out to Joel Feinberg. Okay. Any of my runners that are watching this video. Hi, Dan. You need to go to Universal Soul. He's in the city. Joel, you should totally type in your address uh, for Universal Soul because he's got an awesome, awesome running store. Um, and he does these awesome fun runs with beer and burgers. Hello. I mean, if I ran, well, I might just go for the beer and burgers. Because that's what I do. But anyways, so shout out to Mr. Joel Feinberg and Universal Soul. They're in the city. Check it out. And Joel, if you want to go ahead and type in your address, that's that's you can totally do that. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm a total eyeshadow packer. <laughs> I love to put this stuff on. And I wish, I wish. Guys, this lighting, man. We're going to get it better. I'm going to turn this way for just a moment so I can make sure that I'm not like, whoo, holy eyes. Okay, so I'm doing um, sexy on my lid. Because I wanted to start off with something a little bit more, it's got a little pop to it, but I don't want to be like over powerful today. At least that's where I'm starting right now. I can't tell you where this is actually going to end up. We might go real big. I love right now that there's more men on my, my video <laughs> than there are women. This is awesome. Guys, you can play with makeup too. And our, our, royal, our royal skincare line is awesome for men. Um, no joke. Especially um, our deep cleansing mask. Um, it's really good to help pull all of that stuff out of your face and help keep you nice and, uh, nice and fresh. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to lean over here to do this eye cause I'm really awkward. I feel like, and despite the efforts I thought I made in my lighting, it did not work. Michael, I need better lighting. Working on it. Thanks babe. He's awesome. We love Michael. Okay, so I'm just starting off a little nude here. We might go bigger. Who knows? I don't know yet. Haven't decided. Oh, now that I'm different, I forgot. I just went out of frame. Sorry, guys. All right. It's hard, it's hard to see who all is joined, so I have no idea right now. This is a totally different setup than usual. So if you're there and you want me to know that you're there, say hi. All right. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. I really wish. I just wish. Okay. So 
So I'm doing, I'm starting off just nice and neutral. But I'm probably just going to end up going a little bigger. You know, I kind of, I think I kind of want to. So we're just going to do it. Okay, so I basically put a little uh, sexy on my lids. But I've just made the executive decision. But I think I want to go a little bit bigger. So we're going to instead, changing it up. And it's okay to do that. So I'm going to put beautiful on top of that. Okay, it's a nice, it's a nice shimmer. And these are our, um... Mineral pigmented powders, okay? So I'm just going to dive in there with some some beautiful... That's right, Journey. Don't stop believing. Okay. And we're just going to put that on the lid. All right. This is going to give us a nice, awesome... Awesome, awesome look. I love it. And again, guys, I'm sorry. Just wait till the lipstick comes out. You'll see the progression. Okay. So. There we go. Just pack it on the lid. And again, I'm still working on, on, on getting my makeup game on. You know, it's been a while since I've done a full face of makeup like every day. Uh, working on building that confidence up, which is also what I love and value about this company as well. Um, they truly believe in uh, empowering women and lifting them up, giving them validation. And uh, I am just, I am all for that, to be honest with you. Okay, so I'm going to get my blending brushes out here. All right, now, so I did a little sexy and a little beautiful on my lid. Can you see it? Hi. So now I'm going to go into my crease. Okay. And it's probably going to look like a hot mess at first. But when in doubt, blend it out. And I'm not giving a shout out to my brushes right now because they're nothing specific. Um, literally got them in a lot off of Amazon. Uh, because, you know, you need brushes. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Um, Kristen, you're my photography girl. Um, how do I get better lighting? What do I do? Tell me, because I'm really trying. And I thought I had an awesome setup, and the sun went away, and now it's not working. I need lights. Okay. I should, I should get back to makeup. Okay, so I'm going to take Confident. And I'm just doing a little, little, little dabbing, little dabbing. Okay, this part, guys, I'm going to have to pull into my mirror for. Okay. You can watch my double chin again. It's really cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's like my thing. I don't know. Are you using natural light? You know what? I, I literally have every window that I can possibly have with the shades up. Um, but because we're like, you know, we're like in the basement. We're like a garden apartment. There's like not a lot of light that comes through. Like not a lot of natural light. Um, so yeah, I literally, I have every window that actually would count for natural light where I'm at. Yeah. Um, the other thing I was, uh, thinking about is like, if I put something like a lighter background behind me, I don't know if that would help like, boop, um, a floodlight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Help me people. Help me. Okay. So confident going in the <whistles> crease. And actually on the corner of my eye. So, I know you're not supposed to pull your 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 thing, your eyes, but I do it anyways. They say don't do that. Because, hi, Crystal. Um, awesome. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. I love you. You're awesome. I knew. I knew. I knew there was someone out there that had, had knowledge. All right. So, I'm going to pull my eye. Let me get closer into frame here. And I just pack it, just pack it on. Hey, hey, Crystal, thanks for joining. I appreciate it, like, a lot. So I'm just going to keep packing it in. Because that's what I do. I love, love to do the layered, like, if I had all the time in the world, I would just layer upon layer upon layer of, 
of uh, of color. Now you can already see it. You can see that one a little better. It's starting to starting to pop. So now I'm just gonna hop on over. Hop on over to the other side. Let's see if I can do this one without pulling my eye. I make no guarantees, but so far not, not too bad. And if anybody's commenting and I missed it, I'm sorry, because I can't look over there. But I think I'm getting better with talking and doing this, so that's awesome. All right. Love it. Like, guys, seriously, once I get my ducks, <laughs> get it, ducks, in a row, these videos are going to get oh so much better. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it. You got to learn from your mistakes and see what you can do with what you got. Um, because literally, here, wait, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you how excited I am. Hi, girly. Welcome, welcome. So let me tell you, I don't want to say your name because I'm afraid. <laughs> because all that I want to say is Kaylee because of how it's spelled. But I know that it's Kelly. I know that. Hi, darling. Thanks for joining again. I'm still going to take that drive to Champagne to get my eyebrows started. Give it a shot again. Okay, so um, back to what I was saying. I Just so you guys know, like... I am so passionate about this business. I'm diving in even though I'm not 100% with all of my equipment because I just need to get the word out there. I need you guys to see how awesome this stuff is, even though really you can't. But it just goes to show you that even if you're not like 100% with where with all you need, you just make it work. Like literally right now, my iPad is sitting on a shoebox on this awesome, awesome little thing that my mom got me that holds your stuff. And... um <laughs> awesome. I will totally let you know. I will, I'll, I'll, well, I'm going to have to be like, hey, where do I go? And to keep my iPad or, you know, to keep it standing straight, I have, I have a stuffed animal, a duck stuffed animal holding it up straight. So just because you don't have everything doesn't mean that you can't try. And so I'm just going to keep trying until I get to the point where I can have some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So, you know, take this adventure with me. Let's, let's fumble through it together. That's the best way to learn, right? Okay, so I'm just going to go in and pack it in just a little bit more because I kind of do that. Okay, so I'm just going to go right in there. And we're going to blend this out just a little bit. Well, we're not there yet, but we're going to get there. So getting that nice, that little smoky smoke on right there in the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blending brush. Okay, here it is. There it is. And this one actually, this is, this is from Glow. This is from Jennifer Lopez's line. This is actually out of one of the lots that I got. Um, I got it for like an amazing price and that's why I love lot, like buying lots of stuff. What kind of, this brush is in particular, is, this is a, a blending brush and this is from Jennifer Lopez uh, Glow. Um, but this is one that I got off of Amazon um, because it was dirt cheap. Um, and I'm still working up my, my brush collection. Um, honestly, I am super excited. Here, wait. Take a pause. Wait a minute. The brushes at Unique, you guys, you guys, hold on. I was literally just looking at them in the catalog. Like, not even just looking. Like, drooling over them. Unique's brushes are incredible. And I cannot wait. Can you see that? To own them. This is, this is, this is, a, here's, here's part of our brush line right here. And they're just incredible. And, um, one day, thanks for the hearts. Um, one day they will all be mine because they're just, this one in particular, look at that. That right there is going to do the best contour ever. Okay. So love this song. All right. So we're going to do a little blend, blend, blend. Yeah, Chris, we need to talk about lighting. You know your stuff. Because seriously, you can't even... When I'm done, you'll see it. But, like, these pigments... Pigments? No. Pigments are just... Ugh, they're gorgeous. As you can see from the picture I posted the other day, I had my whole face uh, 
minus a couple of products were unique and you can see the colors in natural light um that's what i get for a living in a in a in a, in a sub below area like when you're underground a little bit you don't get as good of good of light okay um you know what i think i'm gonna pull out palette four there it is. Ooh, hold on. Sorry. Hi. Hello. Okay. So. Okay. So, as you can tell, the idea that I originally had totally went out the window. But that's cool. It happens with makeup. That's the whole point, right? All right. I ran out of makeup brush cleaner, so I wasn't able to get all of my brushes clean. Ah! It's all right. We got this. Okay, so I'm going into palette four because I've decided I want a little extra shimmer and shiny to go on my my lid. So I'm going to take a little secretive. Okay. Oh, shiny. Oh, I love the shimmers. You can see the, sh the shimmers are picking up. Oh, shimmer. Okay. Baby, now. All right. So, going to pack a little more shimmer on there. And literally, guys, makeup is just all about trial and error. Like, no joke. There's really, you know, you can do you. Do how you want to do it. And that's what I say. Because right now, as, I, as we speak, I'm going right back into confident. Because I want to blow, I want to blow the, 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 la the, this side of the eye out just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Don't worry. When in doubt, blend it out. And I love, love to pack on colors. Just, just pack on. I, I, I would use a million colors. Because <laughs> you can create such awesome, 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 awesome things with them. I know. It looks a little scary. Don't worry. Blending brush. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend it out. Because you don't want harsh lines. No harsh lines. Nobody likes harsh lines. Okay. Can you guys see what I'm doing? It's alright. Keep going. Whoever's there, if anybody's there, let me see some hearts. Let me see that you guys are there. Because if anybody's done anything, I haven't seen it. Because <laughs> I've been messing around with my eyes. Yay! All right. Oh, there we go. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, we getting somewhere now. So, now what I'm going to do. Well, I'm bummed. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to take Seductive again. And I'm going to just plop it right underneath my eye. Um, a lot of people do mascara under their eyes. I do not. Um, I feel like I look strange when I do it. Um, but that's okay. It's all about per personal preference. Hi, Leticia. Hello, hello. It's been so long. All right. So we're, we're going to go right underneath and pop a little of the seductive underneath. I bet this is so cute. <laughs> and I'm still like figuring out the proper way to put this stuff underneath my eye without like poking myself in the eye. That's always really fun. Okay. Boom. There it is. Okay, we're gonna do the other eye. Now, okay, for anybody out there, I need help deciding something. This is triumphant. 
should I line with triumphant or corrupted? Okay, corrupted is more more of like a charcoaly, charcoaly grayish, darkish black, and then triumphant is blue. So, what type of brush under your eye? The brush that I'm using under my eye. This is just an eyeshadow brush, and this actually is a brush from e.l.f. Um, what's really actually triumphant, I love triumphant. Um, Crystal, what's actually what's best for your under eye, honestly, is they actually have these brushes that kind of, they look similar to this, but they're more short and stubby and rounded, and those make it a lot easier to uh, do what I'm doing, um, but again, I don't have I don't have everything yet, so we're just we're just doing what we got. And you know what? Use what brushes you have. It's okay. All right, here we go. I kind of forgot. I couldn't remember if I did this eye or not. Ha. <laughs> All right. There we go. We're starting to get we're starting to get somewhere. Woo! Okay. So now, you know what? I think I am going to have to do triumphant. I am just like in love with I I I just am obsessed with triumphant. It's this awesome awesome blue color. Now where hold please. Coffee break in my mason jar. Um, by the way, I don't know if anybody remembers. No, Kristen, I do not wet the brush before I line my eyes. The colors are just that pigmented. It's amazing. Um, I'll show you. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's incredible. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever used uh, a liner that's gone on this easy before. Okay, so the brush that I'm using right now, this is a... This is a specific eyeliner brush, okay? And again, hi, Michelle. Welcome. We're doing some makeup. Um, so this is from e.l.f. Um, again, all of my brushes I got in lots on Amazon just to kind of get me going until I could. Hi, Joan. <gasps> hi, Joan. I, I haven't seen you in forever. That was Joan is my theater mom from when I was working at Oracle as a stage manager, and she's awesome. So everybody say hi to Joan. Um, so yeah, this one is a specific eye, uh, eyeliner brush. Okay, so we're going to go in. I'm going to have to go. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. So um, I do like e.l.f. I do. Um, they've got some really good products, but my biggest sadness with them was uh, I didn't find their eyeshadows to be horribly pigmented, but that's okay. Um... That's how I found Unique. Ah, Unique has got some good pigments. Love the pigments. Okay, so I'm going to have to look into the mirror because I'm not going to be able to... I'm not, well, maybe. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You guys are going to be all up in my eyeball, right? This is so awkward. Okay. I'm not doing very well in the in the iPad, so we're turning to the mirror. <laughs> uh, this is so funny to me. We're working on it, girls, ladies, gents. All right. Hold on. Give me a minute. Look at my my double chin again. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. So gambling is fun when you're with me. Listening to a little uh, glee right now, cause I uh, love it. Okay. Ooh, I think I just poked myself in the eye. Oh, awesome. Boom! Look at that, Chris. See that? Like, wow. 
I'm going to put it in my waterline too. Because that gives it an awesome little pop. And I just do little. I, I've never been like... Real, real over big on, on major mascara. I am currently working on the winged eyeliner, so when I get that figured out, I'll let you guys know. All right, we're going to do the other eye. Bear with me. Here we go. Don't tell anybody I have to pull my, my eyes because I just can't do it, not do it, without it. But I love you, kiss to hug you. Love him. And again, guys, I'm going to start working on being able to talk to you and apply this. There it is. Triumphant is aw this awesome navy blue. Um, and I love it with my brown eyes because it turns them like this honey brown color, which is awesome. I'm marvelous. I am marvelous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Waterline, folks. All right, guys. Be careful. Because uh, I totally poked myself in the eye again. So professional, isn't it? Okay. Waterline almost complete. And then once I put it in there, I just kind of try to blend it out the best that I can. And I went a little dark on here, so that's okay. Because we'll just go a little darker on top, maybe. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. Once my, my lashes are done, it might not matter. All right. And when it comes to, to makeup, guys, practice makes perfect. Like, my makeup abilities, uh, I haven't changed them since high school. Um, recently is when I started to change them after watching, like, makeup tutorials on, like, how you should do this stuff. So, it's okay. Practice makes perfect. Have fun with it. That's the whole point. Ooh. Hold up. Totally got all sorts of dark there. That's alright. That's a blending score. When in doubt, blend it out. Okay. Here we go. So there we go. Now we're going to put some eye eyelashes on. And, uh, well, not real eyelashes. We're going to... Thank you. It's... Kristen, like, seriously, this is... This is... This is palette number four. Um, from Unique. And I'm obsessed with Triumphant. And it goes on super easy. Um, I've been out of practice with putting liner on. So that's why it takes me a minute. But I have never had liner go on as easy and precise as this. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some eyes. Now, um, today what I'm going to do with this, with our mascara, I'm actually going to show you how to you to prime your lashes first and then use it. And now with our 3D mascara, you can do it either way. It's a personal preference, okay? Here they are. The short one is the fibers. Didn't know that at first. How's that, Dan? You like my gobble noises? That's what I do. Hi, Rena. Okay, so the short one's your fibers, big one's your gel. Okay, but first, I'm actually going to prime my lashes. So I've seen a lot of different people do this, so we're just going to give it a shot today. Um, and I'm going to take my mascara that I have left over. It's a travel size one from Sephora. It's called the Mascara, and I'm just going to put it on first. It kind of helps to, to prime your lids if you want to. Don't have to by any means. Do whatever. Do you. You do you. Okay, here we go. All right, so now the priming just, priming, priming, priming. It's a crime not to prime. It's a crime not to prime on your face. It's a crime not to prime on your eyeballs. So, or eyelashes. Ooh, hold on, we got some watering. 
That's because uh, I poked myself in the eye again. How am I supposed to sell makeup if I keep poking myself in the eye? Dixon, get it together. Okay. So, always prime. Priming for for your makeup specifically um, is going to help everything go on easier and smoother. Um, priming also fills in all of your pores and, and hides the stuff that you don't want people to see. And that's why I love priming. Because I have giant pores. They're huge. Um, and I'm just not a fan. And the priming with the with regular mascara first just helps to give you more of a dramatic lash, in my opinion. So if you really like like over dramatics like me, do the priming. You like to just have some nice lashes that are nice and long, just do it regular. It's all up to you, however you want to do it. Alright, so let's do the other eye here. Okay. All right, I one done, I two almost done. All right, primer's done. You know what's super intimidating is watching, and I don't like the number counter up here at the top, <laughs> watching like it go up and then go down and go up and go down. That should tell me something. Hi right, guys, all right. So now I'm gonna go in with the gel, okay? This is our 3D fiber gel. Okay, so this is step one. If you don't do the primer, the gel is your step run. Step run? Step run. Step one. Okay? So you're just going to take that. Boink. Okay, there it is. Looks just like a regular mascara wand, but it's actually it's actually gel. It's got a little color to it. See? There it is. Okay. Now on the first coat, because this is me, I like to just kind of get in there. Try to separate them a little bit more because I like, oh, I like the dramatic. I like to be dramatic. And now look, I'm not moving. Do you see? My lashes have already grown. It's awesome. You guys, I can't even tell you. It is so awesome. Love it. Alright, there we go. Plop it on in there. The first coat of gel I'm a little bit more aggressive with. That's just me. Again, it's makeup is a personal preference. Dan, this is for you. Oh, wah, 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 wah. I love that he's watching, by the way. That's amazing. Alright, now. Do you see that? That's just the gel, you guys. Hello? Okay, now, most important, do not, after you do the fibers, round two, step number two, don't put your gel on immediately. You need to let it set for, for just a second, because otherwise your fibers are going to end up in your gel, and it ain't going to work. You don't want that to happen, okay? Here's our fibers. Now, because mine is so new, um, it's got extra fluffies. Do you see them? Just run them down. <laughs> that one just doesn't want to come off. Just run it down. Boop. Get them off. That's all. Okay. So now we're going to take our fibers and you're going to go in real light. Okay. You don't need to push real hard with these. Um, and it's going to take some time to play with the fibers. Fibers are different. Um, the first time I did it live on here, it was like, holy moly fibers. Okay. So here we go. And you're just going to do, you're not going to go all the way into your waterline. You want to just do medium to the top. Goodbye, Michael. Michael's leaving for a moment. He's got to go run some errands while I continue to get pretty. Okay. Oh, see that? <laughs> Fiber. So you just want to do it real lightly from the, from the middle to the top. Oops, come on, little guy. There it is. They're growing. They're growing in front of you. Now, it's taken me a couple tries with the fibers. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm new to this. This is something I've never done before. 
But I can tell you right now, I'll never go back to just regular mascara, ever, because this is incredible. So now, remember, fibers, I just did it on this one eye. Give it a minute. So we're going to go do eye number two. We don't want to be just like rushing into gel right away because it'll get into your gel and then it gets weird and you don't want that to happen. Okay, here we go. Again, lightly. No need to get, ooh, fiber. No need to get all in there. You know, just from the you know, middle of your lash to the top. That's it, that's it. You don't have to, you know, go crazy. I got fibers everywhere, you guys. It's so funny. Boom. There it is. All right, let me brush these fibers off my face because they're kind of... Oh, by the way, I'm going to give a shout out to Ninja Turtle, dude. <laughs> That's what I have my brushes in right now that are clean, so I know that those are the ones that I can use. <laughs> and those are my boyfriend's cups. Yes, he's, he, he's a Ninja Turtle fan. Okay, so now that we've given everything a second to just, like, chill, we're going to go back in with the gel. Whoever's there, you know, guys, send hearts. If you like what I'm doing, send me some hearts. Send me some thumbs up. I love validation. <laughs> I'm really just kidding. Okay, so here's... I gotta stop saying that. Not that I'm kidding. I need to stop saying validation. I'm just playing around, guys. Okay, so here's our gel again. So now we're gonna go in step... Last step. Now, again, I'm talking, so, like, it seems like it takes forever to do this, but it doesn't, I promise. Working for the man every night and day. Again, some glee. So, oops. Again, when you go for the second application of this, you're just going from the middle to the top. You don't got to dig on in there. There it is. There it is, ladies. Boom. I love it. Rolling and we're rolling. Sorry, guys, I can't help it. I just sing. I sing all the time. All right. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Look at that. Do you, s I mean, like, hello? Holy cow. They're just, it's amazing. And I love it. I can't, I can't even. Okay, so now. I'm going to save my eyebrows for last. That's usually what I do. So now, we're almost done, guys. Almost done. Coffee break. Thanks for y'all that are still there and watching. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some bronzer. So, taking my brush. Again, this one is from Glow. This is from the Amazon lot that I, that I did. Um got to build up brushes how you can. So today I'm actually going to give whoops Hermosa a shot, okay? Cuz it's nice and pretty. Love it. And it's really cold in Chicago, so I want a little warmth on my face. So I'm going to dive in there. And again, right now because I'm using samples, I'm not using the regular brushes that I would use normally. Um but that's okay. Again, it is what you want it to be. All right, so we're going to do a little bronzer. Here we go. I like to smile. Oh, hi. When I put mine on, you can use bronzer to contour as well. I'm not doing any contouring today because I'm just kind of not in the mood for it. Contouring is wonderful, but it's work. So then I'm going to take this. Come on here. Blend it into your hairline. Okay. Go back to the cheeks. Blend, blend, and blend. Blending is your friend. No matter what happens or what you do, you can blend it away. I don't do my bottom lashes, Rena. Um, I have tried on so many occasions. What did I put there? Um, I have, I have tried on so many different occasions to do it and it's just not for me. I'm not a big fan of it. 
Um, and every time that I do it, I literally end up like with mascara like down here. Um, so I've never ever done. And I literally just as of recent, I tried it again too. Not a fan. Um, maybe I just need to get uh, a thinner, tinier brush for my bottom lashes. I, you know, if you want to do the 3D mascara on your bottom lashes, you can. It's just going to make them like, wah! Um, but yeah, I've never been uh, a fan of the, the bottom lashes be on me, particularly. I've seen them on other people, and I think they're truly incredible. But I just don't, I just don't like it on me, for whatever reason. Guys, I am so trying here. I'm just trying. <laughs> Ooh, brown-eyed girl. Yeah, that's me. All right, so bring it up into your hairline. Okay. I can't wait to talk to Kristen about lights. <laughs> because once I can get that figured out, y'all are just going to be so blown away. I'll go outside in a minute, like when I'm done, and take a, another, another selfie of the final finished product so you can see everything in its full glory. I was hoping the sun was going to poke out again. It did earlier, and it went away for like, it was there, and then it went away. No, that's not helping. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm ADD. So, we got the bronzer on, which oh, is gorgeous. And it'd be, like, really, you could use it on any skin tone. No joke. I'm just going to keep bobbing and weaving. How do we? Okay. So now, blush is, or no, bronzer's done. And our bronze, this is our beachfront bronzers that I'm using right now. Also, oh, guys, anybody who likes to tan, um, Becky, if you're still on, you might like this. We have Self Bronzer, and it's amazing. It's incredible. I love it. Well, I haven't personally tried it, but I've seen other people do it. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Okay, so now we're going to use our uh, Mineral, Pre uh, blah, 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 Mineral Press blushes. Okay, again, I'm using my sampler. And I've decided that I am going to use Seductive because it's got that nice pop of color bring out these eyes a little bit more and let me here we go here we go doo, 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 doo. and again I'm gonna do a little smile on my cheeky bones because I've got a fuller face and uh, applying, like, <laughs> my cheekbones hide, so I just kind of, whoop. And when we get it more into contouring and stuff like that, um, do you see that? I see it, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you can see my, cha my face changing. That we can see. All right. Hi, Becky. Ah, hey, I don't know if you were on just a minute ago. But I was just talking about our self-tanner line. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. You should go check it out um, at my website, MakeupGirlNextDoor.com. I haven't said this once this video. Uh, my name is Nicole Dixon. I'm trying to get better with this. And I am a white status, hello, white status presenter with Unique Cosmetics. And this is my new business. And I'm super excited about this adventure. Um, and if you see anything that you like here, I know the lighting, I know guys, we're struggling, we're struggling, Kristen, I'm going to call you. Um, but if you see anything that you like here, go to my website at makeupgirlnextdoor.com. Um, and I have to get, thanks for all the hearts. I got to get better with saying that, um, on a more regular basis. Sorry guys, don't mind my hair. It's growing out. Just a smidge. Okay. So we're putting some blush on. This is seductive. Okay. And it's, this is, this, it's just beautiful. It's just the right amount for a little bit of a nude face. A little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Looking good. But, yeah. Um, seriously, our, I can't wait to try our, um, okay, hold on. So, I was thinking, and you should try. That's what I was thinking too, Chris, like a white poster board or something, something lighter behind me, right? To kind of bring out the yellow tone. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'm totally going to try that uh, next time. Here, wait, hold on. We're going to try something really quick. Let's, ju let's just see. I know this is not necessarily 
That's from it doesn't really do much to me. Piece of paper? Should I just hold it? I think you're right. Just so I can see it with just the piece of paper. You're right, Kristen. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Done. Oh, you're so, so smart. That is why I love you. Look at that. And that already changes. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Kristen, you're a genius. Look at that. It does change a little bit. I'm just going to walk around with paper on my head. Okay. So now, oh my God. Hi, April. Look at that. It really did. Holy, holy moly. Do you see? Kristen, you're right. Oh my God. Of course you're right. Why wouldn't you be right? That's amazing. <laughs> So you like my piece of paper? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm cracking myself up. So for the people that just do this. Sorry. It's probably not as funny to you guys as it is to me. But this is incredible to just put a piece of white paper next to my face and all of a sudden everything changes. <laughs> You're a genius, Kristen. I love you. Okay. So I can't stay there with the white piece of paper behind my head. Throw up a bed. Yes, I am actually. I am gonna throw up a bed sheet. Um, I would do it right now, but I do not have a white uh, bed sheet available at my fingertips. And if I try to move, I'm surrounded by lights and I'll fall. So um, I should. I should just. Let's just stay here for a minute. Do you see? Ah! Okay. All right, Kristen, you're amazing. Becky, you're awesome. Thanks for the the tips. But yeah, you know what? We'll just, <laughs> here we go. Does this work? Is it making it better? You're so right. It, it just, it does. It reflects it. Holy moly Moses. Can you see those colors better now with the white sheet next, or the white thing next to my head? Um, for those who just joined, I'm going to say it again because I need to get better with this. Um, this is my new business. I am a white status unique presenter. Um, and I literally just joined Monday, um, got my presenter's kit on Thursday and here's the best part of this story. Um, when I dived in, when I dived, no dove, thanks Beck. I try. <laughs> um, when I dove into this, I had not tried any of their product. Not once. Never seen it. Never tried it. I watched Kelly Rose Sonaro videos. Um, and I watched her for a few weeks and uh, after watching her put on the makeup, clearly with better lighting than I have. Here, let's put the piece of paper back up again. I can grab two. Wait. Clearly I'm next to my printer. Oh, come on. Like, for real. Look at that. It totally did just change. Well, you know, if I would have known, it would have been just that easy. <laughs> okay, so while I'm telling you guys... I'm just going to leave this up here for now so y'all can see. Can you see this? Is it like, okay, like legit, serious question. Yeah, you guys, does it look better? For real. Oh, don't look at my weird arms. Nope, this isn't working. Okay, so now I'm just being weird. That does really make it, oh my God, that's incredible. So we've got more of a very natural look going on. But anyways, um, so I hadn't tried any of their products ever. And I, I watched Kelly, and uh, yeah, we're putting up, we're putting, we're putting up a bed sheet. That's it. It's just happening. I'm hanging a bed sheet in my house. Um, thank you. Now, if only I could figure out how to do makeup and hold this at the same time. If my boyfriend was still here, I would just tell him to stand behind me and hold the pieces of paper. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Back to oh, focus, Dixon. My mother told me I need to focus more. Focus. Um taking notes that are white. You can have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kristen, that would be awesome. I have a giant poster sticky. St That's awesome. Yes. Yes. I will. I will take your giant <laughs> sticky board. <laughs> oh, it's tape. Oh, like, like tape my wall. Do you see me? I'm, I'm like, <laughs> it <doesn't> like, <gasps> like, like put tape on my wall. Or like, are these, wait, we'll talk more. I'm confused. But yes, yes. Okay, so, my arms are getting tired. That's incredible though. Hi. Okay, so, I had never tried the product ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. And um, I just watched Kelly. And I saw her put the makeup on. I saw how absolutely ridiculously incredible they were. 
and um, I loved what the company stood for and the company stands for uh, empowering women, um, validating them and no, just go get some tape. Oh, you're, oh, hello. Hi. Uh, duh. Kristen. I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> I love you. No, just go get some tape and tape the paper, woman. You're right. Um, <laughs> this video is ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys, for anybody that's still there. I appreciate you hanging in because I'm just a weirdo. So I'm just telling you, for somebody who's never tried the product before, I think that's a real true testimony to the product itself because um, I, I literally became a presenter because I watched her put her makeup on. I didn't need to try the product because I saw it. And um, you can only see mine with white pieces of paper behind me. This is incredible. Um, hi, Vanessa. So, yeah, I became a presenter without ever trying the makeup ever. And I'm playing with the makeup for the first time ever live with you over the past couple of days out of everything in my presenter's kit. And just like anybody who buys or wants to go and get some makeup, I'm going to have to build my collection just like you guys. Um, so I don't have everything. But we're going to keep working it anyways because uh, with the, what I have in the presenter's kit is more than enough to do ridiculously amounts of different looks. You got it. Tell tell the babies I said hi. Give them kisses. Nap time, boys. Bye-bye. I'll call you later, Chris. Um, so, yeah. So, if, if you're skeptical about the makeup, I get it. Just try it. And the best thing is we have 100% uh, love it uh, guarantee. And if you don't love it, you send it back. We'll get you what you will love. And if you don't want anything back, then you don't have to have it. Okay, brow time. I'm, I'm jabbering away like it's my job. <laughs> it is, it is. Anyways, okay, so where is my brush? Here it is. So I'm changing my brush for my eyebrows from yesterday to this one. This is just a little tiny old, old brush. It's from Bare Essentials. Like, it is old, old. So let's make, let's fill, let's have some brows with this face. How about it? Okay, here we go. And I'm using the color Brave. About that face, no trouble. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, did you see the whole eye process? I'll go through everything that's on my face when I'm done. But I love it too. Thank you. Going a little natural today. Okay, so we're going to use Brave to fill in our eyebrows. Okay? So now, number one, number one rule, ladies. Your eyebrows should be sisters. They don't have to be twins. Just sisters. Uh, you don't want them looking like cousins. Uh, you want them to be sisters. They don't have to be identical. Um, each eyebrow is different. Okay, back. I'll, I'm going to go through everything that I've got on my face um, at the end. We'll tell everybody again. Okay. So dip in my, my brush and brave. Now, how I start, I don't... Yes, I can do it on you next week. You betcha. You betcha. So real quick, if anybody missed the brow tutorial, here's how you figure out your brows. You're going to start here at the corner of your nose, and you're going to use the entire, your, your eye. You're going to follow your eye. Okay? That's where your brow should start. Then you're going to go on an angle right through your pupil. That is where your arch is. And that is where your tail should end. Obviously, I overplucked, so we're going we're gonna to fix that right now. Ready? Here we go. And while you're doing your eyebrows, you want to do light little strokes because you want it to look like hair. Okay. Oh, again, I didn't do the spoolie. Spoolie. Again, we can always spoolie afterwards. All right. So we're just going to blend that in here a little bit. Now, every eyebrow kind of has its own natural ombre effect going. You know, like it's a little lighter in the front. Kind of gets a little darker towards the end. So I try to stay true to that. Look look at that, okay? Look at that brow. And that is just eyeshadow, you guys. I know this part's not done. But that's just eyeshadow. Here, wait. Wait. <laughs> look at that. Look at that brow. I mean, hello. Right? It's not even done yet. That's incredible. And that's just eyeshadow. Okay, we're going to finish it. 
And unfortunately for me, my eyebrow right here, like, goes every which direction except the one that I want it to. Um, so we're going to have to just make that, you know, there. All right. Fill that little guy in. And as you're filling it in, you're just going to kind of make your eyebrow, like your, your hairs, go where you want them to go. All right. Boom. Eyebrow. And now there's Christmas music playing. My phone is so weird. So just to give just a smidge of definition, I'm doing real light little taps down at the bottom here. And then I'm going to blend it up. Because I'm really sparse up at the front. Like real, real sparse. There it is. Not bad, huh? We're going to brow two. This one's going to be a little bit quicker. And this is what I love about filling my brows in, okay? I just... ...that I did... Because it does, it pulls in, it pulls the whole face together. All right. Almost done here. Thanks guys for whoever's still there. I appreciate it. I can't even. For a nude lip. It's got a little bit of... A young girl. Uh, I feel that it helps keep the color where you want it. Uh, but these, this is our uh, our liquid splash. These stay on forever. Like I'm not even kidding. Through drinking coffee and what I mean, it it stays on. Okay. All right, guys. And it's so soft and so creamy. The next thing I'm super excited to get is the lip exfoliator because that is just awesome. All right. <laughs> and we're done. That's, a fa that's my face. This is my face for today. For Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family. What do we think, guys? We like it? Went a little natural? Oh, I got a smudge. Hi, Jessica! Oh, look at that. I'm just making a big old mess out of myself. If you're wondering why I'm holding paper behind my head, <laughs> is so I can get my lighting correct. And I just realized, like, my, my girlfriend told me, that if I put the white paper behind my head, it totally helps pull the white, the yellow out. So, um, Kristen and Berger, you're amazingly smart. Beauty must thank you. All right, guys. So this is my look for today. 
And uh, yeah, and this is all products. Oops, everything that I put on my face that I showed you guys, uh, it all came out of my presenter's kit. Because um, I'm just like you. I don't have a lot of unique products yet. But that's going to work on it. So again, um, my name is Nicole Dixon and I am a white status presenter with Unique Cosmetics. Um, I just started my own business and I'm super, super excited about it. And what is going on right now? My lip went weird. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, but I am super excited about this adventure and I'm really excited to take it with you guys. So if you like what you see, please feel free to go to my website, <gasps> Rachel Bowler. Hi, honey. Um, if you like what you see, uh, please feel free to go check out my website, uh, makeupgirlnextdoor.com. Um, and you can get all of the products that I'm wearing right now there. Should we put the white paper back up again? Look at that. It's incredible what that does. Like, I just, I cannot get over what just a white piece of paper does for my lighting. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Yeah. So, yeah, here we go. Hi, Mikey. I'm so glad you were able to tune in. This is my final look for the day. What do you think? Um, so, yeah, so this is the final look. Um, and I'll, if you like everything, go to my website, MakeupGirlNextDoor.com, and you're able to uh, purchase them there. And if you're wondering why I'm holding a white piece of paper next to my face, uh, my awesome friend Kristen uh, told me to put it up there because it actually pulls the yellow out. Um, crazy. That's why she does photography. Uh, she knows her stuff. So I'm just going to leave this here so everybody can see it. Um, and yeah, so here's my final look for today. So if you like what you see, uh, please feel free to share my video. Um, that is, uh, the best way for me to build my business and I really want to be successful. So please share. Um, and I'm so glad that all of y'all tuned in. It's been fun. Thanks for, uh, sticking through the weird lighting issues and everything, even though I thought I had it worked out, but you guys are awesome. And, uh, I am so grateful for everyone that tunes in every time I do a video and I love you guys. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go eat some turkey and uh, then have to take a nap, which I'm really excited about. Turkey, Thanksgiving time. So uh, even though today's not the real Thanksgiving, I'm going to say happy Turkey Day. Um, Thanksgiving to all, because I am celebrating Thanksgiving tonight with my boyfriend's family, and I'm really excited about it. So uh, yeah, y'all have an awesome, awesome day. Um, be good to, be good, be good to each other, be kind, spread a little love and kindness today if you can. And, uh, thanks again, guys, for being here for me and all the support. Couldn't do it without you. Um, see you guys later. Ooh, and as we go out, we got a little Garth Brooks. Yes. Love you all. Have, ooh, <laughs> clearly I put a little too much lipstick on. That's all right. It's got to settle. Love you guys.